viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of In A Week. I'm your host Sohaim. Today we're going to do a book review on this book called A History of Tokyo by Edward Seidensticker. So now let's get into the book review. Edward Seidensticker was born in 1921 on a farmstead near Castle Rock, Colorado. He was one of the only two students in his graduating class in Douglas County to go off to college. It was during the occupation of Japan that Seiden Sticker began to develop a deeper appreciation of Japan and the Japanese people when he was deployed at Sasebo in Nagasaki Prefecture. Seiden Sticker studied Japanese literature at the University of Tokyo. With the Ford Fellowship, Seiden Sticker switched his focus from studying high-end literature to that of modern Japanese literature. In his remaining years at Tokyo University, he read virtually the entire canon of modern Japanese literature. Seiden Sticker is widely regarded as one of the greatest translators of classic and modern Japanese literature into English. He wrote widely on Japan, its people, as well as the city of Tokyo. This book, A History of Tokyo 1867 to 1989, is a combination of two of Seiden Sticker's books, Low City, High City, Tokyo from Edo to the Earthquake, which was published in 1983, and Tokyo Rising, The City Since the Great Earthquake, which was published in 1990, which is also the reason why it took me a couple of months to finish reading the whole book. In Seiden Sticker's two-volume History of Tokyo, he covers a tale of cultural history of Tokyo, how the city was impacted by the arrival of westernization and how it responded to the twin disasters of the 20th century, namely the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923 and the massive destruction incurred in the Second World War due to Allied bombing raids. In the preface of this book, Donald Ritchie wrote that Seiden Sticker loved the past for its own sake. He disliked much of modern Japan until newer manifestations indicated that something worse was on its way, at which point he would become nostalgic about what he had formerly disliked. In Seiden Sticker's own words about his book Low City, High City, Tokyo from Edo to the Earthquake, he said, this book contains little political and intellectual history and not much more literary and economic history. To a much smaller degree, it is the story of currents that have flowed in upon the city because it was the capital. In Seiden Sticker's own words about his book, Tokyo Rising, the city since the great earthquake, he said, this book is a sequel of Low City, High City. The low city, the less affluent flatlands, offered something to talk about as late as the period between the two world wars. The center of popular culture was there in Asakusa, the low city. There is a reason for the emphasis on the low city, that when there is little to say about place one is fondest of, things must be said of places of which one is less fond. The point is made in the book that Tokyo is not the subject of distinguished writing that it once was. And yet, the author did a splendid job in developing my interest in modern Tokyo. With all the changes that Seiden Sticker was upset about coming to modern Tokyo, it created an interest for a new generation of people like myself whose starting point was Tokyo and its rising from the 1980s and onwards. It doesn't mean that I personally have no interest in understanding Tokyo's past. In fact, after reading Low City, High City, I am more interested in Tokyo's neighborhoods and their past to understand the evolution of not only of Tokyo as a city, but also of its neighborhoods. In fact, I have grown fond of discovering and reading more about Asakusa and Sumida City, which is where Tokyo's prime culture was born and evolved. In Tokyo Rising, among many other things, Seiden and Sticker intellectually covered Hachiko's story and its evolution, the arrival of Pachinko and its durability as a fad that never faded, the evolution of Akihabara and why it should be called Akiba Gahara, the contribution of Subway in the modern development of Shibuya and Shinjuku, and so much more that makes Tokyo a Tokyo of today. This is the Tokyo I am attracted to, 
What Side and Stickers books have done is to add context to all the things I am interested in learning about Tokyo. And if you are interested in getting joy out of contextualizing Tokyo's evolution, then this book is a must read. Music